while I have officially made the move to craft um, from Obsidian, we'll talk more about that later in a different video. Um, there's still some cool features in craft that are from craft in Obsidian that I want to talk about, specifically the new query parameters that have come out in one of the recent versions. I don't know which version off the top of my head, but as I looked at it, I thought, ooh, that would be a cool to have in craft actually. Um, because it lets me would let me keep a really easy kind of to read dashboard. So I'll walk you through this in a second. Before we do that, a couple ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to uh, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron. Number two is to be take a course <laughs> from me, uh, curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare will take you to Skillshare and then you can search my name, Curtis McHale. I have a course on Tick Tick, time blocking and I have an upcoming course on Zettelcast and it might be out by the time you see this. Anyway, let's dive into Obsidian and building a to-read dashboard. So what I've done before, I have the to-read dashboard, but we'll come back to that in a second, is I'm going to open my graph view, and what I've done before is collapse filters. I already have filters in here. I don't want homebrew. There you go. So what I've often done is I see tags in here. I'm going to go uh, to read and search. All right, so now I can see all this stuff here. Let's scroll in. And then I might search, uh, say, marriage. And search again. I can see the books that are to read and marriage, right? Which is useful. There's actually a better way to keep track of this now with a to read dashboard. So to read dashboard. I'm going to start by doing marriage, since that's what I'll start with. And then I'm going to use uh, what's the new query parameters. So I'll do three query, three back ticks again. I find the easiest way to do this is actually to come into my tag pane, and I'm going to hit to read. So I just put the tag to read in there, and I come back to the tag pane. This is also fairly new. And I'm going to look up, what do I have, marriage? Oh, I gotta hit command to read. There you go. Tag to read, tag marriage. And so this is listing all of the notes that have the marriage tag and the to read tag on them. You can see them right there. So then I can select that, command A for Mac, and then call it copy paste and put it in here. So now in my query, what it's going to do is show me all of these books. All right, and I can collapse them. Tag to read, tag marriage. So I could do that. Uh, I can also go back in here and I could say, let's do community. And really, I can just copy this here. Although, if you really want to check, then you could always do, like, put it back in there. I want to tag to read, tag community. Now, this wouldn't necessarily be books because I haven't tagged as books, but now I can see if I collapse marriage, here's all the community ones that I have, right? Some of these will be books. A few of these will actually be articles. Um, so they won't be books, but I can see like, what do I have to read that is uh, on community? Now, that's actually a pretty cool way to do it. I can jump in and say like, what else do I have here? I could say, let's look at beauty and what else links to beauty, right? You can see my backlinks here, unlinked mentions. It's not really unlinked because it's just the word beauty. Um, but beauty by John Don O'Donohue is the name of the book. I actually should have put the longer book title in there, the full book with the subtitle, because then I wouldn't have these unlinked mentions it's in here. Um, and I can go back to my to read dashboard. Oh, to read dashboard. And I could look up uh, the good marriage, maybe. What is in here? So it's only linked once, which is fine. I just haven't had it linked twice. And that's, I, that's really it. Uh, with the new query parameters, you can do a lot. You only see them in preview. You don't see them now clearly, um, but I like it. I like that. I could easily just have like a list of all the books. I can even collapse this stuff, right? I don't just need to see the titles. I trust the tags are there. Right, same with this. Collapse them all and then I could just see, see it scrolls inside as well. It's like a little web view. So you can do a lot more with query. Any query basically you can put here, you can make it work out uh, to have uh, inside these query tags right here, all right? So any query you can put in here, I could say map the path, file, tag, line, and section are interesting because they limit. It's like searching two words close to each other, two words on the same line, or two words in the same section. So it's like a paragraph or something like that. Um, 
and I did a query like that earlier, so I, this is racism and sexual abuse um, are on the same line so I can see it um, together. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, and YouTube will probably never let you know something happened, but they tell you they will. Other ways to support the channel is to become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Just support the channel. Number two is to go to Skillshare, curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. You can search for Curtis there, and you can find my courses on Tick Tick Time Blocking, an upcoming course, maybe done by the time this video is done, uh, on getting started with Zettelcast, and I just finished writing the script this morning. That's it. Have a good one.